Greetings, YouTube. Happy Tuesday. Hey, happy, what, three days before Cyber Weekend. As a reminder, I'll be doing kind of a preview video for that on Thursday. And most importantly, after reading multiple times the message from yesterday, I'm convinced part of the reason why they're doing this the way that they are is to prevent the chance to get both uncollected and cavalry rewards. I could be wrong, but traditionally on Cyber Monday and July 4th, if you, say, are at the boss to become Cavalier and you're uncollected, you see the uncollected offers. You beat the Cavalier boss, you quit out of the game, you re-log in, and you could essentially get all of the uncollected and Cavalier rewards in the same 24-hour span. That might still be true, but when you looked at the uh, message yesterday and you saw the uh, Cyber Weekend sales message that put very explicitly in blue... The sales presented will not be altered or added to during the Cyber Weekend. That could mean two things. It could mean that whatever shows up on your account is going to stay on your account for four days. Or it could just mean also uh, that you're not going to see additional sales during the four days. What you see is what you'll be able to purchase for the duration of the four-day period. It might mean one thing. It might mean both. But I still say if you have a chance to grind to become uncollected or cavalier, you may not want to chance it because you would definitely have some regret if you weren't able to get both offers and you know that you easily could have, or at least feasibly could have, uh, achieved that next progression status before the offers hit noon Central Standard Time on Friday. But I'm uh, talking about the messages because I didn't do a video on this yesterday. I didn't know if I needed to. And then I woke up to a host of emails and lineup messages with screenshots from this saying, Prof, you must not know about this. And then it makes me realize, hey, if I don't do a video on this, people just assume that I don't know about it. So let's talk about this real quick because this is the beta test for Act 6, Chapter 4. Now, I can't tell you why some people get beta test invites and some don't. There are a bunch of conspiracy theories. I don't believe any of them. Particularly, you're a YouTuber, so you're always going to get the beta. Not true. But there was a theory for a while that basically stated you'll get a beta test progression if you're caught up on the previous progression, which in this case would be Act 6, Chapter 3. Well, let me tell you. Spoiler alert, I have not done a single path of Act 6, Chapter 3, and I'm still invited to take part in the Act 6, Chapter 4 beta. So there goes that theory. But uh, you can see that the sign-up period for the test is up. November 25th to November 29th. And then the beta is going to launch from December 9th to the 23rd. I love beta tests. You can do potentially emotionally stupid things like sell all your four stars to open up five star crystals that might make a cool video but are going to be worth nothing. So, you know, I could get the missing limb on a fake server that does not carry over to the real game and always wonder what it's like. Or I could just say, screw it, I'm going to take my Hulkbuster to rank two and play around with him. I might want to do that just for funsies, even though I don't know if that's a word in December. But in the meantime, yes, it's kind of amazing that Act 6 Chapter 3 is just, what, about a week old? And yet, Act 6 Chapter 4 is already being rolled out. So Kabam is kind of speeding up the end of Act 6. And it's kind of bringing to mind some theories regarding not only the items that will come into the game, because we will see eventually, I've been told by some of the people at the very top, that they're less than 10,000 Tier 5 Class Catalyst fragments away of that specific class from taking that 6-star to Rank 3. And of course, when that happens, especially in the 5-star Featured Arena, everything is going to go up, including, unfortunately, the cutoff of death matches to where you'll have to take in, say, rank three or rank four five stars instead of rank two five stars unless you want to trigger those death matches, which is always a bit of a bummer, but it's what happens when the top of the game progresses up. Everything has to rise with it or face death squads. Got kind of dark, but there you go. So, yes, I uh, didn't want to make this, you know, a 10-minute video. It certainly doesn't warrant that, but I was invited to the Act 6 Chapter 4 beta it is a sign-up opportunity right now, and then it will go live, it looks like, between December 9th and 23rd, which is a good period of time. I also suspect during that period of time, we should see, as Kabam continues to tweak the return of the gifting badge, the biggest moneymaker for their year, and that's usually the greater gifting crystal event that every year the top prizes are just insanely amazing, and I suspect that this year... It will be that way as well. Six-star Thanos, etc. So we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, I got this. I don't know why, but I got it. 
So stay tuned for that in December. Until then, thanks to everybody who sent me emails and screenshots of the same thing. Thinking I hadn't seen it, I had. Now here's your video, so you know, uh, well, you know I have. <laughs> have a great day.